All right, so we have a series of supplies here that we're going to use to build a speaker. Uh, we got this uh, auxiliary cord. This is the kind of thing that you plug into your stereo speaker jack on your iPhone or your smartphone or your computer. We've got this um, stereo speaker wire. It's a super thin enamel coated wire, also called electromagnetic wire. Um, and then we've got some alligator clips. Uh, we got some steel wool or sandpaper, uh, a lighter. And we have a glue gun, some tape, uh, some magnets, uh, and a cup. So uh, to start off, what you're going to need to do to prep the materials is to uh, get this auxiliary cord cut in half. And you're going to strip the two or three wires that are on the inside there. So I'm going to cut this. You can use an old uh, headphone wire too. Uh, so now that I've cut cut this like this. Uh, I'm going to trim out the, the little teeny wires that are in there. There's usually a black and a red and maybe another color, often a white. I'm do that. Kind of open that up. All right, I'm starting to find those in there. And to tease those out, I may have to cut a little bit more. careful there not to cut the, the through the wires on the inside and there's a little bit of a shielding around this batch a little foil around it but I'm gonna keep working at that and there we go I can see you can see those two a little red and a little black wire in there get rid of this foil around it I want to strip those two I can use a wire stripper Use the end of scissors. I just kind of want to pull off a little bit of that. Might even use the end of my teeth there. I got one, two, and I've got uh, two copper ends stripped off there. So this is what I'm going to plug into my electronic device, and this is what I'm going to make sure uh, I hook my entire speaker up to. So I'm going to put that to the side for now over here at number one. I'm good to go. That's all prepped. And maybe if you're doing this for a class, make a few of those. So kids can try hooking them up to, uh, to a bunch of devices. Now the next thing I'm going to take is about 20 to 30 feet of this. I know that sounds like a lot, but I want to coil it up about 50 or 60 times in a one inch diameter. So I'm going to keep pulling some material off here. Awesome. There we go. And then, try to cut that off. I take that and I want to wrap that in a circle. So I'm going to take like just two fingers. I could take the end of a pipe or something. And I want to make a one inch circle out of it. So I'm going to wrap, 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 wrap. And keep wrapping this coil around and around. Let's see, I'm kind of wrapping around my finger there. Keep wrapping, wrapping, wrapping. I want to get those lots of coils on there. And the more coils you have, the stronger the effect is uh, from the electricity going through the wires, which is really a weird effect that when you coil this up and you run electricity through it and you change the amount of electricity going through, it creates a difference in the pull uh, from the magnetism that the wire generates. Okay, so I got that coiled up. So it's kind of like rolling up a cord or a rope. And I've got that into a kind of a circular loop but to kind of hold that in place and maybe I just want to take a little piece of tape and uh, tie that together like you would like a you know loose cord for a computer you'd be like oh I want to keep that all bound up so I'm going to put a little tape on there like that do a little bit on the other side too just to keep it shaped so it doesn't come all unwound and tangled up so there you go we got that and we pretty much, now we have all the major pieces ready for our electromagnet. And this is the kind of thing that maybe I'd do one more prep for. I would make sure that this red enamel on the ends, that we get that off and you could sand it off. Uh, you could SOS it off. I like to kind of do a little bit of both, uh, but first start with a little bit of a match on the end. Just burn the enamel off and then do that on the other end. And then maybe treat it once with a little bit of SOS or sand pad or sandpaper just to get a little bit of the 
make sure the copper is exposed on the end because it's red to begin with, but that's like a red painted enamel uh, or maybe it's a different colored green or something. And you want to make sure the copper is exposed underneath. Okay, so I can see that I have, hold this up here, copper is exposed underneath. Awesome. And that should work now for when I hook it up to, my, to build my speaker. So that's all you need for the first part. So I'm going to pause for now.